Hey, what's up, guys? Dinner Friday Dinner Steak here. Oh. What's up, guys? Dinner Friday Dinner Steak here, and welcome back to some Hearthstone Uncut. Holy shit. Uh, I took my girlfriend out to dinner tonight, and we just... All I can say is you're the dragon. So stick with me here for like three minutes, guys, and I'll explain to you exactly what's going on. So basically, it was released by Blizzard uh, a little bit earlier today, around 14 hours ago. So I'm a little late on the party. I'm a little late on the party. It's a, it's a Hearthpone article here. But basically, Gen and Baku are getting rotated out. Solo campaigns, like the uh, League of Explorers, the stuff that you have to pay money for, are back. New solo content. Arena draft pools are changed. And quote-unquote, smarter deck building. So basically, last year we had three cards Hall of Famed. Molten Giant. Uh, uh, what was it called again? Um, Ice Block and then like Ice Lance or whatever like that. And Cold Blood Oracle. We had a couple cards, like, um, Hall of Famed. And they were announced, like, the day of. Blizzard has made the claims, like, today. Nine fucking cards are getting Hall of Famed, guys. That's incredible. What, nine cards? Well, let me just, uh... Let me just pull it up. Well, here, I'll just tell you right now. What nine cards are getting, ner uh, getting Hall of Famed? Well, it's gonna be... It's gonna be fucking Genin Baku. That's right. The... The the Gen Grayman and Baku Munir, the the cards that have caused so many fucking nerfs in Hearthstone, are getting completely put into wild. So that's <clears throat> standard's problem no more. Naturalize, Doom Guard, Divine Favor are getting out of here. Gloomstag, Black Hat, Glittermoth, and um, Merc Spark Eel are going as well. Now. You might be like, why those nine? That's a really weird list of nine cards. Uh, Naturalize, I wouldn't have had on the list. Doomguard, not entirely. Divine Favor was definitely a card I had on that, had on that list. Divine Favor, downright broken. It's a ridiculous card, uh, especially with the Odd Paladin. Like, you could just basically throw up all your cards on the board, top deck the card, and never get punished for being too aggressive. But this is what the Blizzard team has to say about the cards. So this is Naturalize. Uh, Druids have always had an excellent flexibility in a number of different tools when it comes to generating mana, cards, and minions, minions, but have long struggled to remove their opponent's large minions. Naturalize effectively nullifies that weakness, giving Druids a powerful option in matchups where card advantage doesn't matter. Moving into the Hall of Fame enforces, Dru enforces Druids' weakness in removing large minions, maintaining its class identity. What class identity? You took away all the mana generation that it has. Um, once UI rotates out, Druid's not going to have any class identity. <sighs> I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, once the rotation happens and your dragon happens, Druid will never see a play rate. I'm calling this right now. will never see a play rate higher than 9.5%. They'll never see a play rate higher than that. There's no way you can bring Druid back from the dead. You've killed all that ramp. Doom Guard. I, I correct myself. Doomguard, I I I can see here. You know what? Let's just turn on the uh, display capture here. Not I'm not I'm not getting this off any special website. Any any tootin hollering fool can uh, can get this stuff right off here. I mean it's coming right here. Um, let me just zoom in. Uh, Doomguard, I, I you know I said earlier like why did they nerf this? Uh, you can make a very strong argument for um, for a Q block or uh, you know Zulak. So let's see what they have to say about uh, Doomguard. Right here. Uh, as Master Demons, Warlocks have long, <laughs> long had a powerful board control class. Okay, so you got your Hellfire Defile. While we like that minion comment as a part of the Warlock's identity as destructive magic, we want to acknowledge and embrace the class's weakness when they lose control of the board. To add to that end, we want to limit the amount of damage a Warlock can deal from their hand. As a powerful charge minion, Doomguard pushes against the Warlock class identity. <laughs> what? That's not a class identity. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the class identity in Hearthstone is the fucking, like... The trade-off from Warlock is, is you punish yourself and you get broken cards. Doomguard was a balanced card for, like, fucking ever. What the fuck? <laughs> There's, like, no evergreen. There's no evergreen set anymore. The this Doom Guard nerf makes no sense. It wasn't a broken card. You don't run it in control lock. What the fuck is this? 
<laughs> what? You don't run this in board control? You don't run that in control decks? You run that in zoo lock? Or fucking cube lock? Or somewhere you can cheese it out? You don't play that in a control deck? <laughs> oh my god. That's so stupid. So, first one, bullshit. Doom Guard, bullshit. Divine favor over the past several years. Okay. We've seen numbers strong, aggressive paladin decks. <laughs> Odd paladin, anyone? Well, the paladin's identity is a minion summoning and minion buffing class with a fair amount of resource generation. They're re identifying, like, class identities. Then why isn't the paladin lower like that? What the fuck? These expansions, like, never tie in with anyone. Each other. The card doesn't also have to need. To... Card draw doesn't also need one of Paladin Strength. Divine Favor is one of the most cost effective draw spells in the game. <sighs> so basically, getting that Bakungen. Bakungen are more powerful cards that have promoted new strategies since their introduction in the meta game. Those strategies have been more prevalent than we intended in standard, and we have felt they might have ended up overshadowing what we've been to... what we're going to juice in the Year of the Dragon in order to. For set rotation to breathe new life into standard and maintain overall health and ladder, we are rotating Baku again into Hall of Fame a year earlier than normal. As we are complementary to the even mechanic that Baku again introduced Gloomstag, Black Hunt, Glitter Moth, and Merkspark Eel. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna craft fucking odd. I was gonna make odd mage today. <laughs> I was gonna make odd mage today. I put like I was gonna buy some packs, and get enough dust to make odd mage today. I'm so glad I read this article. <laughs> oh my god. So they've killed the odd and even mechanics basically, which uh, I can I can see their argument for that, and I respect that. Maybe that's the reason why uh, Rat Rastakhan Rumble wasn't well perceived, but that just sucks, dude. God damn, that sucks. So we make a shift from um, card to player experience. Um, yeah, they pick the feedback from the uh, dungeon runs. Look at this. It's for each chapter, you'll get the master new systems and mechanics from perspective of a mysterious yet familiar new mage. I bet it's Millhouse Mana Storm. I bet we play as Millhouse Mana Storm. Uh, for, uh person the entire set. Okay. Back to bot. Ooh. Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what do I see with my eye right there? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god this looks so cool holy shit okay let's go back all right here's what awaits you holy shit so that's the solo content 20 bucks is getting you nine new henchmen heroes 27 hero powers 36 starting decks five chapters 70 15 card packs for 20 bucks and one golden classic pack Oh, that's definitely worth the money, guys. That's huge money. All right, so nerfs, solo adventure, but now this is the big one for anyone for you arena boys. Arena wins count towards golden hero portraits. I think that's a great, 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 great thing to do. Uh, we're always looking for ways to enhance all of our game modes, including modes like the arena and the other dragon. We'll be updating every our draft proof by rotating out sets and at new ones. <laughs> twice every expansion to keep things fresh Ooh. so you can see wild cards in marina that's fucking nuts i might just have to try arena oh cool uh so we get a pre-release period for all future expansions Oh, cool. You can just hang out with friends and uh, have pre-release parties. Nice. And one of the things we always try to do in Hearthstone is listen to player feedback, and we're committed to improving the experience. 
Hearthstone, we're rolling legendary quests. If you're struggling to complete special quests so that you come in with any game events, you'll please do another legendary quest. We'll get the reroll arrow this year so you can pick the quest you want to play. Rolling legendary quests will work like an area quest. Reroll and consume your for the day. We will no longer have any legendary quests that can't be rerolled. Legendary quests are given on the day in expansion. Random card back option. That's a cool one. So, yeah, you can just hit like random card back and it just gives you a random one. Smarter deck be hero. Here's the arena wins. Mammoth Sunset, as we finally bid for Whale of the Set of Rotating Our Standards, we thought it would be fitting to give a truly Mammoth Sunset. Logging in between the game between March 25th and April 2nd, we'll reward you with one pack from the Journey to N'Goro, Knights of the Frozen Fr Like, they're just giving us free packs for, like, seven... I, wait, I can't really do math here, so what? Wait, that's March 25th? That's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven packs. So that mean the new expansion comes out? Oh, dude. New expansion's live in fucking April. I got ass off to work that day. When's April 3rd? Oh, I got to ask off, dude. April 3rd's a Wednesday. Dude, I got to ask off for that. Holy crap. During this time, we'll be able to bid you. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks. Oh, man. AMA on Reddit. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Why do you do Reddit MAAs? MAAs? They're gonna tear you a new one. And you just got... <laughs> you just got the rank 25 community over here. But, yeah, that's that's what that's what Hearthstone is, boys. You're the dragon. Nerfs. It's big sauce, guys. I can't even begin to fathom what the fuck I'm gonna do. It's just, it's ridiculous. I mean, this is this is the very short summary, and I'll post a link to uh, Hearthpone down in the description. But guys, I think this year the dragon thing is going to be amazing for Hearthstone. And I'm so pumped to try it out. So I'll see you around, guys. Take care.